Hey everyone, it's Bree. I'm back with another scrapbook process video for the Spiegel on Scrap design team. And I'm going to be working with one of the March releases. This sequin mix is called Confetti Burst and it's super pretty. And it happens to match the Sunny Days collection by Maggie Holmes uh, perfectly. So as soon as I saw this pattern paper that came, I think this was in my Hip Kit Club uh, kit for March. Uh, as soon as I saw this paper, I knew right away that I had to punch out all of the tops of, like, I guess these are the, what would be the tops of an umbrella. That's what I think it would be. Um, I knew that I had to punch them out or fussy cut them. And um, so I used my circle punch. It's one and three quarter. I think it's one and three quarters. I think that's the size. And I go through and I punch out um, the tops or the shapes, actually. So I'm getting a variety of different colors and... Uh, I've got them pushed to the side. So as you can see, what's on my desk is my fuse mat and I've got it heating up. I've got my fuse tool heating up in the little uh, holster that it comes with. Uh, and I've got a Project Life sheet pulled out as well. Because if you know me, I love to create shaker elements on my projects, but I don't use my fuse tool to make them. Um, so I thought, why don't I break it out and get some use to it or use with it uh, since it tends to sit in my drawer. I do I do like it. I don't there's no love hate relationship with it. I just I make shakers with foam and acetate. So I wanted to give you all another option or if you do have a fuse, a lot of the girls on the Sparklers design team for Spiegel Mom Scraps use their fuse tools. Uh, so I thought I'll just break mine out too and uh, use it for this project. So I had thought about making little shakers with these umbrella pieces inside. So I stuck the little um, punched out piece into one of the pockets and I fused around it, leaving enough space to go ahead and fit my little um, spoon to drop some sequins in. So once I had some in there, now I do have to say, I think there's one of them that comes up here in a minute. Um, I'm not sure if I edited it out or I left it. I can't remember, but don't uh, make your sequin um, little pocket too thick because, um, it'll have a hard time fusing. So I actually had to, on one of them, go back and reinforce it with some glue. Um, and you can't even tell um, because of what I choose to do on top of these little um, shaker elements or shaker pockets. What are, I don't really know what to call these. <laughs> just, I'll just call them shakers. Um, uh, yeah, what I added on top of them, but we'll get to that here in just a second. So I'm making a second one. And so yeah, I just stick my cutout inside and then I fuse half of it. And, uh, okay, well here, the silly person that I am, I went ahead and just sealed the whole gosh darn thing. <laughs> like I just kept going right around the circle. Um, so I did it again and I, I have no shortage of those Project Life sleeves. I think I have like three boxes of them. So it doesn't hurt me or at all like to like cut it up. It makes me actually feel really good because I'm using it even if I am cutting it up. So yeah, so this is the one where I stuffed it too much. Um, I should have taken some of the sequins out because in the confetti burst mix, there are the cutest little heart bead like plastic pieces. They're so cute. And you can see it there. It's like a little lime green one. And so since I had that in there, it created some dimension, but I had so many other sequins in there. It still worked. I should have just taken maybe a few out. That way the heart could have moved a little more freely. All right, so I have a blue one, a pink one, and then I'm gonna make another yellow one. <clears throat> I had an idea of scattering them around my page, so that's why I had so many out. I wasn't really sure how many I was really going to create, so I just had extras punched out. So as you can see, well, this is sped up four times, but it did honestly go fairly quickly, and I always forget to pull out my fuse. I really need to, <laughs> I need to use it more, honestly, because um, I love, I love working with it, and it's super fun, like, to, I don't know, it's kind of um, therapeutic when you slide your, the fuse on the plastic and you know it seals it, it's, I don't know, I just like it. All right, so this is where I decide that I didn't like seeing the open, um, the openness, I guess, of the, the fuse marks around my uh, little shakers there. So this is where I create a border. And I guess it, it I'm just being picky, it didn't, I guess it was the way I was trimming the circle because it was a little sketchy and not as smooth as I would like. Uh, I, I am horrible with scissors, honestly. I can't cut a circle to save my life. So of course it's real janky <laughs> and my edges were just jagged. So I thought I would 
create a border and um, lay it on top so you didn't see my yucky edges. So all I did was take a my one and three quarter punch and punched it out and then using where like what was left of that paper that I punched, I took my two inch circle punch and created the, essentially the border basically. So there you go. I hope I explained that correctly. Um, it's on the, all of them, the finished um, shakers are on the right. So you can see that I used um, my punches to create the borders for all four of them. And then I'm going back in with the rest of my pattern paper that I didn't punch out. And I'm going to fussy cut all of the circles on this. I wanted to still create basically the same format or the same layout from the pattern paper that I'm fussy cutting. It kind of doesn't make sense, but um, so that's that's all I'm doing. So I'm fussy, fussy cutting these and I'm going to lay them out exactly how they just were. Uh, I chose to use craft cardstock as my background. I know a lot of my layouts are white. Uh, so I tried to change it up and I do love to use gray cardstock um, and I do like to use craft as well. So I just love um, the neutralness of the white, the gray and the craft. Uh, and I really like the way the umbrella tops stand up on top of the craft as well. All right, so I'm just going to adhere all my um, pieces down. So they're kind of like if you were looking down um, like from the sky, like if you were in a helicopter, you could look down on the beach and then you just see the tops of people's umbrellas. And then I did like the way the craft looked because it kind of looked like sand to me. So I'm going like along with the whole uh, sunny day theme and then my photo that I'm actually using is a photo of my son um, at the beach. So, and hopefully I'll pull that out here in just a minute. So I'm getting my shakers in place. I'm trying to organize them where they're, uh, like around the page and there's the photo of my of my son he's I believe this was in um Lagoon 4 out in Ko'olina in Hawaii and uh he was just floating and it was just <laughs> that's what he was doing and I saw him floating so I walked up and snapped a photo and he is gosh it was such a great day he was living it up <laughs> so I thought oh this is a perfect photo for this new line that I got and then it worked well with the sequins as well as the umbrella tops. So I'm getting my chipboard sticker sheet. Now I've said this before in many videos I struggle with chipboard. I used to not. I don't know what happened. I used to love getting these chipboard sheets because I would practically almost use all of them but I hit a creative chipboard block I guess you can say and um I don't know I just have a hard time adding them and there are some pieces that I don't really know what to use on like that big bird I don't I don't know is that a crane I think it's a crane I don't know um, so maybe one one layout it'll make it on one layout basically we hope or I hope okay so I'm looking through the project live cards and I'm sorry I'm off frame I don't know why I'm so close to my desk because you can't really see the bottom of my layout and that's a little weird to me. So I guess I have to fix my setup here, but I apologize. I didn't realize that uh, when I was filming. Okay, so I matted my photo with some vellum. Actually, no, that's not vellum. That's tracing paper. And I also put a uh, Project Life card behind it. I did like the pop of blue that it gave. It also helped pull in the blues from my umbrellas. And so I did create an embellishment cluster at the bottom left. So I do have one umbrella and then one of my little shakers. And I'm going to start gluing them down and committing because I'm not going to move anything. <laughs> but yeah, it, re it really was a lot of fun breaking out my fuse tool. I honestly need to use it a lot more. Um, yeah, so it was fun. It was fun changing it up for sure. All right, what am I doing? Oh, I was looking through for some ephemera to add on my page. And this is, uh, oh, those are exclusive ephemera from HipKit. I thought that it, um, the colors didn't match. I mean, it did, but not really with the crepe paper. It was more creamy and more whimsical, I guess, as, and then the exclusive ephemeras were more, I don't know how to explain it. It just, it wasn't 
tying well with me. Um, so that's why I put them aside for a different project. So I'm going to work on my title and it's going to say fun plus sun because he's having fun and he's honestly just laying in the sun. He could not be more relaxed than he is in this photo. And uh, he, for not for the long, he practiced floating on his back for a little bit. It didn't take him very long and he got it and he just loved to float on his back in the ocean. And when, if you haven't been to the lagoons out in Ko'olina, there, um, there's four man-made ones. And the, the fourth one is open to the, I think, wait, is it the third and fourth one are open to the public? And then the second one is with the hotels, like Disney Aulani has one. And then I can't remember if the first one was open to public. I can't remember. But we always just went to the fourth one, all the one, the, the one that's way at the end. And so it's completely, like, roped off. And it's just, like, a huge, big pool and it's um yeah it's perfect to float um oh and I found another shaker that I didn't realize was up on my desk pushed away so I'm so glad that I found it because it helped balance it because the the three across the you know the middle of the page and the one at the bottom it felt empty at the top left so I'm glad I found it so I'm just taking stickers from the 6x12 sticker sheet and kind of embellishing here and there adding um take it easy i think i added one that says say yes to adventures i did add a couple chipboard pieces i added the sunglasses and then the piece that says sand and surf and then i added a camera on the left and a couple shells and then here i'm going to go in with some paint and let me tell you these maggie holmes paints are so pretty and so cute um so yeah i thought they would be perfect to sit on top of the craft cardstock. I thought they would stand out, especially the white. And then I thought, oh, let's add some blue and some of the mint. I didn't add any of the pink, and um, but I do love the way that those three colors look on top of the craft paper. So I'm just going in and splattering. And that is something, honestly, that I enjoy so much. Uh, I love going back in and adding splatters with acrylic paint. Yes, so this sequin mix, um, again, it's called Confetti Burst. It's super, super gorgeous and matches so well. And I love the white sequins in this mix because it totally pops in my little shakers. And I think it's so cute. And then the splatters just totally accent it. And I love it. Uh, honestly, I think that's it. Don't forget to use my code Brianna15 to save you 15% off from the shop. My final project is coming up. Here it is. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, definitely uh, check out the shop for these uh, for this sequin mix that was just released in March. And thank you so much for uh, commenting, liking, and subscribing. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.